This video explains how to sort a pandas data frame based on multiple columns using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a very first step, we need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And we can print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that we have created a data frame containing eight rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. Now in the following example, I will sort our data frame based on multiple columns or more precisely based on the columns x2 and x3. And we can do that by using the sort underline values function, as you can see in the next line of code. And within this function, we need to specify a list of column names based on which we want to sort our data frame. And then in this case, I'm also storing the output of the sort values function in a new data frame object that I'm calling data new. So after running this line of code, a new data frame object called data new is created and we can print this data frame using the print function. And then you can see below the code box that our data frame was sorted based on the columns X2 and X3. However, you can also see that the first sorting was done based on the column X2. So this column is based alphabetically based on the letters uppercase A, uppercase B and uppercase C. And then within each group, the groups are sorted according to the column X3. So in this case, the group uppercase A in the column X2 is sorted based on the values lowercase B and C in the column X3. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.